Smile. This is our group shot on getting ready to go fishing on Kodiak in Alaska. Yeah. We have the Golds here from Champaign, Illinois. Frank Minow, Jamie Hurst, Dr. Lamp, and Frank Nasera. So we're getting ready to go. We're going fishing for a halibut and we're going to do some lingcod and some sea bass today. All right, thank you very much. This is the boat we're going to be going on for our Alaskan adventure. We're here in Kodiak Harbor, Kodiak, Alaska. Now this is a hand gaff that is utilized for bringing in a bait fish out of the water and onto the boat, onto the craft. And you take it and you go boom like that so it sinks into the fish and then you get and pull it aboard. And this is made out of stainless steel. Can you cut a little shorter? And it's, uh, it's particular uh, to this area. You don't see this in New England. Because they use a little different thing. Now, I have told the captain, if we get a big halibut, I want him to shoot the halibut in the water and not in the boat. I don't want him shooting the halibut in the boat because it puts a hole in the boat and the damn boat will sink. Now, if we get a two or three hundred pound halibut, how's one guy going to bring oh, that on? Oh, you got to get a couple of them. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah. So how many boats do those hooks do we have on board? Oh, we have about three. Wow. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. We're well equipped here. Okay. Spoke to the captain. He said today we may go up. We may go up. You drive up to the Lincoln and Golden Eye. Since the wind is not going to be too much of a factor, he said let's go do that today where we got the fall for the captain. And uh, the Lincoln was a real nice sized fish. And you know the Golden Eye is nice too. And where are we going to get the bait? Uh, right off here the cannery, we're going to get some bait. We should pick them up real fast and then we're on our way. Does, do you have the fish or does the fish have you? Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, oh boy. He's a pullet. Oh, he doesn't want to get down the boat. He doesn't Come want your new address? Obadiah. Come to me, Obadiah. Stop. He don't want to change his address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his new address is Buckingham, PA. Oh, boy. You fellas are going to be so sh so jealous when you see this fish. This is the best one we got so far. Oh boy, this is no throwback, I'll tell you. Oh, hot diggity. Oh, oh no, I'm not letting him take any line. I'm bringing him home. Oh, loose steel. Oh, no. Look at him. He's taking it. Oh! <laughs> Come on, Doc, you're supposed to pull them in. Oh, yeah, we're pulling them. Oh, don't worry. Woo! Oh, loose seal. Oh! <laughs> Wait till you see this one. You're all going to be so jealous. Oh! You better get the gun. This is a big one. Oh, yes, look at him. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, you are right. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, yeah, we're going to harpoon him. Yep, where's he at? He's right down there. He's in the water. Oh. Bring him up. I am. I'm bringing him. He's going to harpoon this one. Okay, Captain. Start easing forward. Doc, you don't have him hooked very well, so be careful. Well, you want me to go forward? Yeah. You foul hooked him, Doc, so be careful. Right, Excuse me. Is he foul hooked, Bill? Oh, yes, he is foul hooked. Foul hook. right, to go. the corner of that rail. All right. All right. Now, raise him up just a little bit, Doc. Oh, Don't let him get away, Doc. Oh, no. no. There you go. There you go. Ooh, that hurt. Damn it. That's a big one. Right in the bone. That didn't even hook. That hard thing stuck. No, it's not. No. You got to get more on him. That's a big one. Let's bring him in again. Don't worry. I told you I had to go to him. 
Well, he's not, you know, mine is getting sort of lonely in that ice box, so. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> don't worry. We're going to change this one's address. <laughs> Nice one. Good job, Frank. What'd you get, Frank? Frank got a salmon. salmon. Excellent. All right. Nice silver. Nice. Come on, Doc. Hurry up. We're getting time running out of film. He's coming. Yep. There we go. Nice silver. All righty. Whenever you get. That's a nice silver. That's a ten-pound silver. Nice one, Frank. I hit the infamous bone. I mean, I, I hit it as hard as I could hit it. It was not moving through. That's a beaut. That's a 10 pound silver. Ah, oh, he's 12. 12? Yeah. I'll tell you, at first, when I, I knew it was something hard, then I, I, I slacked one and I said, sucker, you run off. Well, that's a beautiful a fish. Thing. Beautiful fish, Frank. You gonna have that one stuffed? No. My stuffing days are over. <clears throat> what, are you take line off you, Doc? Oh, he's, he's, I'm take, I'm bringing him in. Don't worry. We're going to change this one's address. You're still changing addresses? Oh, yeah. First yeah, this is Obadiah. Well, you fellas are just all jealous. Boy, he doesn't want to come in. He's scared of you. He's got all kinds of holes in him. <laughs> Maybe they ought to bring the rifle out and shoot him. I think so. <clears throat> Not yet. Are you seeing them yet? No. These are our blood good Japanese maples here at Highland Hill Farm. We have larger sizes as well as smaller sizes, and we also have weeping Japanese red maples and also green maples. So give us a call, 215-651-8329. Right, um, no? Where's my cameraman, Don? Hey, just have my dad run over there. Okay, I'll come around. Right <coughs> Pull that silver up, right? Yeah, One second, I'm, I'm waiting. Where's that, uh, where's that little gadget? Right? Here, I'm here. Okay, he's cutting his power. And he's coming up again. There he is. There he is. It's Moby Dick. Oh, there he is. Well, now, Doc, don't don't be messing with him this time. Yeah, yeah. I'll be good. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's back again. Back for more. Okay, what happened? I lost. He was green. I lost green. You shouldn't lose green. He just took another run. He he saw that address book and he didn't like it. Howard, how long did it take you to get that fish oh, in? Oh, it was a long while. It was a big fight. I'll tell you, but I changed his address. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was a dandy. Is and that then the... the captain, when he when he harpooned it, he harpooned it in the, in the spine, and it didn't go through. And then the fish took another run. He got mad at you. Oh, he was irritated. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, very good catch. These are dwarf nandinas. They get about three feet high. They'll have red foliage throughout the winter, white flowers in the springtime, and red berries in the late summer. We grow a lot of boxwoods here at Highland Hill Farm. These are our 18 inch Green Mountain Boxwoods. And these are our 24 to 28 inch Green Mountain Boxwoods. We grow a lot of other deer resistant trees and shrubs as well. And those are our five to six foot green giants. If you need any high quality deer resistant nursery stock, give us a call. We can deliver or deliver and plant or you can stop and pick up we're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.